Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and say we're playing a Raid Shadow Legends, and we have a quick, amazing, um, well, 10 times event, as expected, to share with you guys. So, typically around Tuesday, while it's a CVC, they tend to do some sort of shard event, 10 times, guaranteed, something, extra legendary. Well, this week we have a 10 times, which, to be honest, I think that's normally what they do during CVC. I know that I think the Sissia one was during CVC, but that was actually a guaranteed, so I was surprised. But I'm pretty sure it's normally 10 times events during clan versus clan at tournaments. So, he is my most wanted champion, guys. Let's just start here. Let's just start here and give you a little bit of a teaser. We are pulling some serious shards. Some serious shards tomorrow, live on stream for Prince Kaimar. My account? Maybe. Maybe we have a special way of doing so. Maybe I wailed out. Maybe someone was generous. Or maybe it's not my account. Well, you're just gonna have to come hang out with me live on Twitch to join me with some crazy shard pull excitement. All in for Prince Kaimar. If that's not enough, there might be more. Let's just put it that way. Um, I have been wanting to test Prince Kaimar for quite a long time and have some fun. Of course I want him for Arena, but you know what? Honestly, just some of the speed runs and dungeons, he helps to make those times a little bit faster, or a lot of bit faster in some cases. And he enables a lot of comps that are a little bit harder to make work with Renegade. So we're all in for Kaimar. Why do we love Kaimar so much? You guys know the drill. Resets the cooldown of all ally skills, fills the turn meter of all allies except this champion by 20%. So helpful. Love the reset. And this little fella here for Arena uh, attacks all enemies, removes all buffs, and places a sleep debuff for one turn. Just locks you out so freaking good. And the honestly, not gonna lie, I couldn't have told you what his A1 is. Because I don't have him. I never use him and I never have gotten to test with him. And now, here we go. Attacks all enemies, places a 5% poison debuff for one turn if this attack is critical. Had no idea. Not gonna lie, guys. I had no idea that that was his A1. And I'm not, I'm not ashamed by that. He's all about these A's, right? <laughs> I have no shame there. Who cares about the A1? Doesn't matter. But AoE on the A1? So, so great. Um... I mean, he was just... Ugh. I would love him for sake of even Faction Wars. I know it's silly to say that, but that's so true. I really, really, really want him for Faction Wars because my Demon Spawn is slow. It's hard. It's one of my slowest, I think, factions that I farm 21, and I think he'll help that a little bit. Speaking of speed, we also have a speed in Arena by a 30% aura. So definitely comes in handy. Um, we have another champion that is part of an amazing 10 times this weekend. So that one, June 7th, Tuesday, Prince Kaimar. Wednesday, June 8th, is Warlord. Here we go. Wednesday, June 8th, is Warlord. Now, are those events staying the... It makes it sound like the Prince Kaimar one might only be for one day, and then Tuesday, uh, Wednesday will be a Warlord. Um, if you guys know my account, you also know that I have two Warlords. One with some resistance, one with just full accuracy and speed. He is such a beast. Uh, my resistance one. I think I have in Swift Parry. Who knows? I might have changed it. I'm pretty sure Swift Parry, though. But he's great. I mean, a Warlord and Stone Skin, oh dear lord. He just, that would be such a good combination, too, if you get the right stats. Arena Beast. So we have a a big, big, big 10 times here with the Arena Gods. <laughs> and, I mean, they're not so bad for PvE either, let's be honest. So on Warlord, we have this attacks all enemies, 70% chance to decrease, uh, put, sorry, 100% books up to. Chance to put each target skill on cooldown. 30% chance to fully deplete each target's turn meter, which books up, of course, to 50%. So, so good. I even forget about the turn meter. I'm just so excited for the lockout that I don't even think about the turn meter. Um, and here, 
block debuffs and a shield on his A2, and then of course his A1 increases the duration of all debuffs by one. Uh, on the target by one turn. So back in the day, people used to use Warlord a bit for a debuff extension in Clan Boss. Luckily, now there's some other options, so you could save him for Arena. <laughs> but he is a really, really good champion and definitely worth pulling for. Both now, let's talk Mercy. You guys know the drill. If you're not close to Mercy or willing to make sure you get there, it's not really worth pulling during a... Um, 10 times event. It's just not. Plus, they're trying to drain our resources before the fusion comes. Plarium, good job. You did it again. <laughs> Let's be honest. You did it again. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some people pulling for this. I would not be surprised at all. If you guys want me to pull your shards during this CVC that's coming up here for either one of these days on Tuesday or Wednesday, please make sure you let me know. Back on the idea of my crazy shard pulls, as I said, Tuesday, tomorrow... Um, that is the 7th of June. I will be streaming and I stream fairly early that day. When the hell do I stream? I stream at, wait, let me remember. All right, Tuesdays, I stream from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. my time here, GMT plus three. So join me live on Twitch. We're going to pull a crazy amount of shards for Prince Kaimar. And if any of you want me to pull your shards live on stream as well, let me know. I'll get to your polls before we do the big monster one. But we're going to have some fun tomorrow. We are going to have fun tomorrow. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Stay tuned for that video. Um, that'll probably be posted Wednesday from the results of those shard polls. So if you can't make the stream, don't worry. We'll make a video on it. We'll have some fun. We'll have a drink and some laughs. I mean, maybe not a drink. It's only 3 p.m. But we might have to have a special drink for Prince Kaimar, right? Am I right? <laughs> right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, be careful with these 10 times events again. Don't deplete your resources for the sake of ever for no reason, just because they're exciting champions when we know a fusion is coming. So just be cautious and I'll see you in the next video.